this is Rachelle thanks for clicking on my video just came in today to give an update on this Ed Hartwell and Keisha Knight Pulliam drama I'm pretty sure you guys have heard about the divorce well Keisha says Ed cheated not her now she appeared on entertainment tonight which I'm surprised that she actually granted it an interview this quickly after all of this news broke about her marriage but basically she said that early on in her marriage she found out that Ed had cheated and she had the divorce papers all set to go and he begged her to stay now she's saying that basically she wanted her marriage to work so she gave him another chance now with this recent filing that he did of divorce she said that she um that basically it was just like another day he got up to leave she was still asleep in bed he called her later on that day and said that he had something to tell her and basically he just let her know i just filed for divorce and she said that she was blindsided but she also goes on to say that she is not the type of girl that will drag this out that she's going to be all right and that she's going to just move on from this um and she says that one day he's going to have to explain to his child you know basically what he did now i know when i posted the video uh previously talking about their you know their problems a lot of my subscribers have said that Keisha took him from another woman and basically she's just getting you know her due because you know he was in a relationship when she met him now I know that they say that you know you lose him exactly the same way you got him meaning that if he was cheating with her and now he's cheated on her basically she's getting what um what she deserves so it looks like their story is gonna play out in the media man i know she is embarrassed and i know lisa Wu has got to be sitting somewhere as one of my subscribers said laughing her ass off because Lisa just went over all of this, you know, Keisha and Ed drama on the show that she's on, uh, Hollywood Divas. And um, I know that she's watching this play out with a little laugh on her face. Y'all know she is. I mean, this is how it goes. But I'm curious to see how all of this is going to play out because damn they only been married seven or eight months and if she's talking about he cheated on her earlier in that seventh or eighth month of being married that is ridiculous i don't know if she meant that like while there were they were dating he cheated on her and she still married him but she's gonna have a second night um of her interview with entertainment tonight and I'm going to catch that to see what else she has to say about this child, this drama, these folk, they ain't right. And it seems like Ed is just a cheater, isn't it? Um, and it looks like maybe Keisha is too. I don't know, y'all. They drama is something else. But it's something to watch, I tell you. This next story, y'all, concerns Tiny and her daughter Zonique. And then Zonique's stepmom. So what happened is T.I. posted a picture of him and Zonique. And in the picture, he put the word minds. Um, just saying that this was his daughter. And he was just proud to take a picture with her. You know how fathers will do. They're just loving on their daughter. And basically, they do a selfie with them. Well, what happened is Zonique's stepmom, by the name of Tamika Harris, took offense to that picture. And then what she did is she posted another picture 
with T.I. and his biological daughter, Deja, and then Zonique and her dad, Zebo, and she put the words, enough said. Basically like saying Zonique had a father and that father was her man. Now, Tiny saw all this and she clapped back at the stepmother. Basically like saying, hey, wait a minute. Zebo went away when this girl was about three years old and didn't come back till she was about 11 or 12. So during all those years, what Tiny is saying is T.I. took care of her like she, Zonique was his own child. She talks about how he put a trust fund up for her, that he was there and put her in private school, the Christmases, the birthdays, the cars that he bought, and just him being there gave him the right to call Zonique his child. Now, the stepmother clapped back and was talking about how T.I. had just been with the prostitute and how Tiny was ugly and that she needed to exfoliate to get rid of her blackheads and drink water because her lashes were fucked up. Now, Tom, Tiny comes back and says, basically, bitch, I might be ugly, but I can still take your man. She even goes in on talking about how... Um, her ex Zebo was making Tamika, the stepmother, watch their old sex tape and that she could take Zebo back at any time and basically told the, the stepmother not to forget that. Tiny just basically went in defending, you know, her family, her man and her child. And, you know, I know that they have their problems. But let's face it, T.I. has been there for Tiny's daughter. And, you know, with all that was going on, then Zonique jumped in and, you know, was defending her mother and T.I. basically telling the stepmother that all that her biological father does is call and check on her, but he doesn't actually participate <clears throat> in her life she talked about a photo shoot that he that she did that he didn't show up to and just basically this is an adult daughter now telling her father what he didn't do and you know I know that T.I. and Tiny they have their problems you know they are in and out of their relationship their marriage you know rumors that she's not living with him and you know she's moved out the stepmother even like talked about you know how they're over there living that fake celebrity life and the reason why the stepfather i guess does not call zonique is because he doesn't want to be a part of all that now that sounded like some bs to me and even though, you know, like I said, Tiny and T.I. do have their problems, I think T.I., you know, genuinely loves Zonique as his own. Um, and I think that this stepmother, when T.I. posted that picture, she did get a little, you know, like hot under the collar or it ruffled her feathers a little bit. And she wanted to remind T.I. that Zonique had a biological father and she was just trying to throw a little shade. And I think this whole thing playing out on Instagram was really too much you know that kind of shit is private and you don't put that out there and basically that's what tiny was saying now i too believe that sometimes on the show that they may you know portray themselves as a happy family but they have problems just like everybody else does you know it is what it is that's the you know what happens when you have like a blended family where a man comes in or a woman comes in and there they are there are other children there so i am with tiny in defending <clears throat> ti in this instance because like i said if that man did all of that 
and made sure this girl was taken care of. And I mean, in Zoni, and didn't make a difference in his biological children that were in that house and then Tiny's daughter that she already had, then I say, you know what? He does have a right to call her his. You know, I don't even know why the stepmother would be upset, you know, if if her man, which is Zonique's biological father, didn't do what he was supposed to do when he came back into her life, then hell, that's on him. You know, that's his guilt. And for Zonique to have to step in and defend her mother and her stepfather, I think it's a bunch of bullshit. It, it's sad that that girl had to do that. You know, they need to stay off Instagram, social media, and all of that, putting all their business out there. Basically, at the end of it, Tiny told the stepmother, keep on talking, bitch, and I'll come over there and whoop your ass and take your man. So, y'all, these celebrities, y'all see, they got problems. Some of their problems is bigger than ours because they're, they're playing out, like, in front of everybody. Child, I would not want that. So, with that, y'all, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day, and as always... Thank you for watching my video. You take care now.